In South Florida, Muslims and non-Muslims alike are reacting with revulsion to Donald Trump's call for a Muslim ban. CBS 4's Gary Nelson looked into the mood among residents in Miami-Dade and Broward. We have no idea if they want to bomb us. And with that, Donald Trump declared we should ban Muslims from not only immigrating to, but even visiting the U.S. At the Nurul Islam Academy in Broward, an American flag flew out front and inside, a suggestion that the Don should brush up on the Constitution. I think this is unconstitutional by passing these kind of comments to a specific religion or a specific group of people. Some see Trump promoting a throwback to a darker time. We do not want a generation of what has happened in the past, the evils that have been happened in the past in this country to reoccur. The internment of Japanese Americans during World War II comes to mind. Viewed as necessary at the time, history has condemned the internment camps. Zach Cortez is Jewish and teaches at the Islamic Academy, supports a moderate immigration policy. We still need to be able to decipher um, who is a threat and who's not a threat in terms of migration. At the Islamic Center of Greater Miami, the imam says Trump is playing into the hands of those who promote terror with his radical proposal. We, we really condemn this kind of uh, statement and we hope that the people of wisdom will uh, condemn and join us in condemning this. Johan Ali chairs a group formerly known as the Miami Coalition of Christians and Jews. His take on what he views as Trump's bigoted bombshell. It broke my heart because I, I come from a mixed background of a Muslim family, a Hindu family. I'm a practicing Catholic. From Catholics to Jews to Muslims, Donald Trump's seemingly extreme anti-Islam position takes a pounding. Those on the side of moderation might take some comfort from history. In 1964, presidential candidate Barry Goldwater said, extremism in defense of liberty is no vice. Lyndon Johnson beat the tar out of him. In Cooper City, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.